Welcome to the ERC Academics Tutorial. Now we'll introduce you to information about ERC and university requirements. Before we get started, we'd like you to know who we are. I'm Melissa Calderon, a Senior Academic Counselor. And I'm Claire Harrington, Assistant Dean of Advising. To meet the rest of our staff, go to the ERC website, roosevelt.ucsd.edu, and click on Academics and then Staff. We all look forward to working with you at orientation. Now we'll review the requirements you'll need to complete before you graduate, including university requirements, general education requirements, and finally, major requirements. You have three university requirements. First, the UC Entry Level Writing Requirement, or ELWR. The university requires you demonstrate proficiency in English composition by the end of your first year at UCSD. When you get to the academic section of this site, you'll tell us if you've met your ELWR requirement. You may have taken the Analytical Writing Placement exam in May, or will be taking it in September. If you take the exam in May, we get your results in June, and we'll advise you accordingly. If you don't take the exam and wait until September, then we'll advise you on options when you sign up for classes. If you took one of the English AP exams or an English IB exam, you can wait to take the Analytical Writing Placement exam. Passing these exams clears you of the requirement. If you haven't met ELWR by fall quarter, you will take a course in the fall to meet this requirement. The second university requirement is American History and Institutions, or H&I. The university requires a knowledge of American history and or government. If you graduated from a California high school, your H&I requirement is complete. If you attended high school outside California, you can clear the requirement with a comparable course. International students should consult with an ERC counselor to see how they will meet the requirement. In the UCSD General Catalog, under Undergraduate Education and Academic Regulations, you can find a list of courses to satisfy H&I. The final university requirement is Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. You can find information about this requirement in the UCSD General Catalog. Your second set of requirements is ERC's General Education. You can find your GE list on the ERC website. From the main ERC site, navigate through Academics to General Education. Click on the link for Freshmen. Making of the Modern World, MMW, is ERC's core sequence. Taken by every ERC student, this interdisciplinary sequence is taught by faculty from many departments. One of the great things about MMW is that it introduces you to a variety of disciplines. You'll take MMW 11 in the fall unless you need SDCC 4. After you get your AP, or Analytical Writing Placement exam results, ERC counselors will advise you on which course to take. MMW 12 and 13, usually taken in winter and spring quarters, fulfill the UC writing requirement. MMW 14 and 15 are usually taken during your sophomore year. Quantitative formal skills, known as your math requirement, is completed by taking two classes from an approved list. For students with majors that require calculus, the requirement will be met by completing those major courses. There are many other quantitative formal skills course options for majors which do not require calculus. Remember, if you are a pre-med, you can be any major, but calculus is required. When we recommend your fall quarter courses, we will tell you if you need calculus. When you get further through this website, we will ask you to verify your major choice and let us know if you are interested in pre-med. It will be very important to answer all of these questions carefully. Natural science is also completed by taking two courses from an approved list. Students with majors requiring specific science courses will complete this requirement by taking those major classes. There are many course options on our list for non-science majors as well. The ERC language requirement must be met by completing a fourth quarter or third semester college level course, passing a language proficiency exam, attending a non-English language high school in another country, earning a qualifying AP or IB score, or receiving an SAT2 score of 700 or higher in a foreign language. To complete your fine arts requirement, you will need two four-unit courses chosen from the departments of visual arts, music, or theater and dance. One of these courses must be non-Western. We will have a list of acceptable courses available online in time for your fall registration. For regional specialization, you will take three classes that focus on one geographic region. 
Two of these classes must be upper division and cannot overlap with your major. The classes may be chosen from our approved list and are offered through a variety of departments. Many students choose to take these classes during junior or senior year or while studying abroad. At least one upper division course in your academic program must include a significant writing component in English. This is your upper division writing requirement. See the list of acceptable courses on this page and note that overlap with your major, GE, or minor is acceptable. Study abroad is not required, but we highly recommend you consider the options available to you. One last note about GEs. Your AP scores may exempt you from some GE or major requirements. You can find this AP chart on the ERC website to see how your scores will approximate at UCSD. At this point you might be wondering, what about my major? Each major at UCSD has specific requirements in addition to your college requirements. It is important to check with your major department to learn how to fulfill your major requirements. Here are a few important things to note about your major. You will need to declare a major before you reach 90 units. You'll also need to take required major courses for a letter grade and earn a minimum 2.0 GPA in your major. Each major department at UCSD has an advising office. You can look up your department's website to find information about their major programs, current course offerings, and department contact information. Review the majors fact sheet for new ERC freshmen and this list of majors for more information on the over 130 majors available at UCSD. If you are undecided, don't worry. Your GEs might help you find a major, or maybe your electives will open up new areas of interest. At ERC, your general education requirements are the same, whether you've selected your major or not. Your degree at UCSD will be a combination of your GE, major requirements, and electives, and or minors. Remember, you can be any major at any college at UCSD. We know this has been a lot of information, but we hope you now have some knowledge of university, GE, and major requirements. Remember, we'll be able to answer your questions at orientation and help you via e-advising in August. Now you'll continue on with the website to complete your academic background and view your orientation confirmation. You will return to the site on August 16th to view your course recommendations and access e-advising. We look forward to seeing you at orientation.